Welcome back everybody to a new workout brought to you by MJ Co and Shape Your Life. I am Coach Jimmy and today we're going to be focusing on some fundamentals uh, and learning how to counter punch along with a little bit of strength work at the very end. So for today's workout, all right, of course you're going to need some comfortable workout clothes to work out in, a mat if you have one, all right, and most importantly some water for yourself to stay hydrated. And of course, totally optional if you want to use a little bit of a light weight, which we will use uh, later on when we do our strength work. So weight's optional. Make sure you have a nice clear space if you have any obstructions so you don't trip over anything. If you are a youth, please make sure you have an adult supervising you. And at any time, don't be afraid to slow down or stop if you need to. Everyone's at different fitness levels, so be sure to pace yourself. Now. I invite everyone to try every exercise, but if you're not comfortable with a certain exercise, don't be afraid to skip it, okay? With that being said, let's get started with a nice and easy warm up. All right, so we're just gonna start off nice and easy. We're gonna do knees up, running on a spot, 15 seconds. All right, let's do it together and go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. All right. Next one will be butt kicks, running on spot. 15. Again, ready together and go. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Amazing. Okay, good job. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do jumping jacks for 15. Ready, together, and go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job, good job. Alrighty, so make sure you're breathing throughout the workout when we're doing these exercises, all right? And so, the reason when we breathe, if you hold your breath, for example, you're gonna get tired a lot faster. So always be breathing. All right, next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do clap under. It's very similar to jumping jacks. Arms are gonna be out to the side, clapping under one knee, and then the other knee, we're gonna skip back and forth, just like that for 15 seconds. Ready, and go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, good job, nice. All right, next one we're gonna do what I like to call a swivel, all right? So it's gonna be bunny hops, jump on the spot, but we're gonna be swiveling our body, turning left and turning right the whole time while maintaining our arms outside the side, just like this. Okay, so you'll notice my body is facing right and then left as I bunny hops and my arms are out side to side as counter movement. Ready for 15 seconds and go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, good job. All right, so now we're gonna slow it down just a little bit. All right, take a half step back if you need just in case you don't keep your screen or anything. We're gonna do some leg swings next for 10. All right, so leg swings will look like this, all right? You just swing your leg up nice and easy and try and touch with your opposite hand. It's okay if your hand doesn't touch uh, your foot, just that general direction, okay? 10, ready, and go, leg swings. And one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, good job. All right, next, we're just gonna do nice and easy knees up, all right, with a little bit of a torso twist, all right. So it'll look like this, okay? So we're twisting into our knees. So if you to make it easy, opposite elbow towards opposite knee, that general direction, okay? We're gonna go for ten and go, knees up, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and ten. Good job. All right, now we're gonna do knee hugs. Okay, so we're just gonna bring one knee up at a time and hug it in as close as we can towards our chest. Hold it for two seconds and then we switch to our other knee. So for example, it'll look like this, right? One, two, okay, and then we switch, one, two, okay? So let's go 10 times, that means five each leg. Knee hugs and go, and one, two, good. Switch, good, one, two, that's two. Good, switch, nice, one, two, that's three. One, two, that's four. One, two, that's five. One, two, that's six. One, two, that's seven. One, two, that's eight. Good job. One, two, that's nine. Last one coming up. One, two, that's ten. Alrighty, good job, good job. All right, so now we're gonna be moving on to some dynamic stretching, all right? So well, let's start off with our neck. We're gonna look left and look right. 10 seconds back and forth, all right? Nice and slow. So you don't wanna go too fast. Nice and slow and controlled. Ready and go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, okay, next. Looking straight up and straight down, all right, same thing. Nice and slow and controlled. Ready for 10 and go. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, next coming up, we're gonna do some arm circles forward. All right, so nice and big, nice and relaxed for 10 seconds. Ready and go. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now same thing backwards and go, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, all right, now we're gonna do arms alternating up and down, and go, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. Arms out side to side, and go, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. Okay, nice. All right, next one, we're spread a few nice and wide, all right? We're gonna do some trunk twists next for 10 seconds, okay? So just like that, keep your feet nice and wide, nice and still. Ready and go, trunk twist, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good, okay. We're gonna keep our feet nice and wide. We're gonna reach up for the sky for two, all right? When you reach up, really try and look up as well. Get that thoracic extension in your spine, all right? And then when we go down, we're gonna go down and pulsate for two, all right? So we're gonna go down like this. One, two, all right? So up for two, one, two, and then down for two, one, two. Good, up for two, one, two, and then down for two, one, two. Good, again, up for two, one, two, and then down for two, one, two. Good, one last time, up for two, one, two, and then down for two, one, two. Good, all right, stand it up. Shake it off if you need. We're gonna do some side bends next. All right, so side bends. We're just gonna bring our arm over our head, slightly bending our torso. Hold it for a split second, and then we switch. All right, just like this, okay? So nice and easy, all right? For 10, ready and go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, good job. Okay, so now at this point, 
Now we're warmed up, we're going to very quickly go over our basic boxing fundamentals. So we'll go over this every class, alright? So we're going to take a few minutes. If you're a beginner, don't worry if you can't remember it all in one day. We go through every class, so you have an opportunity to go over every class. So you uh, get better with each workout, alright? So first things first, our stance. Our basic boxing stance. If you're right-handed, right? Drop your right leg back, slightly point your toes towards the right. If you're left-handed, drop your left leg back, slightly point your toes towards the left. All right, nice and even, nice and balanced. Have a slight bend in your knees. Okay, always on your toes, nice and relaxed. Now when we're gonna fist, we're gonna curl our fingers in, thumbs on the outside, hands up, chin level, elbows in, protecting our body, and I want our chin slightly down and tucked in. So that's our basic boxing stance. All right, now there are six punches in boxing. First punch, we call it the number one, okay? Number one, also known as the jab, okay? Straight punch, just like that, okay? But I want us to add a small step with our lead leg when we throw our jab, just like this, together at the same time. All right, so again, one. And notice my backhand always glued to my chin, protecting myself, okay? So again, one, good. Now number two, straight punch from our backhand, okay? So now from our, with our back hand, we're just going to rotate toe, knee, hip, and then arm straight out. Okay, again, a little bit faster. Two. One more time. Two. Nice. Number three will be our lead hook. All right, hook is a looping punch, just like so. Okay, so right at the end of the punch, I want your elbow about as high as your fist. All right. Sorry, excuse me. All right, so let's do it together. Three. Three, just like that. Good, one more time. Three. Good, and always remember to bring your hands right back to your chin. Good, four, exact same thing, just from my back hand, okay? So four, a rear hook. Four. Four. All right, good job. Five will be our front uppercut. All right, so uppercut, we're just coming straight up the middle, just like that, okay? One more time. Five, okay? So when we do uppercuts, uh, good way to remember have your palm facing towards you all right when you punch straight up again our six last punch our rear uppercut straight up the middle just like that again palm ideally facing towards you all right six six all right so now let's put it all together one two three four five six all right then ready and go one two three four five Six. Good job, good job. Hey, what's up, Stan? How's it going? Hopefully, you're joining in the home workout. All right, so now let's go over the defense real quick. So, the defense two, the one two, will be called the slip slip. All right, so again, slip slip. Main thing, we're in a stance, moving head off the center line, left and right. All right, good job. Now, threes and fours, okay, our hooks. The defense of the hooks will be called under under okay you see i'm still in my stance main thing we're just bending with the knees first going under the punch under the punch all right good job last two punches all right our five and six the defense to the five and six will be lean back or step back in our boxing stance all right good job time quickly get some water and then bring it back all righty let me get my timer ready we're gonna be moving on to our first round of shadow boxing, all right? So like I said, today we're gonna to be focusing on our counter punches and a little bit of strength work at the very end, okay? So for this first round, we're gonna be in our boxing stance, all right? We're gonna work on slipping and coming back with a punch, all right? So counter punching is when you counter off your opponent's attack. So ideally, you evade their attack and you come back with your own punch, all right? So for this first round, we're just gonna focus on slipping and coming back with one punch, all right? So when we slip to the inside, right? Since we're loaded up on our rear hand, we're gonna throw the R2, okay? And then when we slip to the outside, since we're loaded up on our front side, we're gonna come back with a three, okay? So again, when I say slip to the inside, we slip to our rear and side, all right, and then we come back with a two. And when I say slip to the outside, we slip to our lead leg side and come back with a three, okay? 
So I'll go nice and slow for the first 30 seconds for any beginners, just try to follow along with me. And then once you get the hang of it, right, we're gonna go fast, all right? So remember, strength in our punches and speed, all right? When we slip, we're loading up, and then not load up with our Tony hip arm rotation. That's how we get a good counter shot. So ready, three minutes, three, two, one, time is in. So other than that, just hands up in our boxing stance, all right? Slip to the outside. Good. So as soon as you slip to the outside, you want to come back with your counter right away, okay? Good. Slip to inside. Good. Remember, slip inside is a two. Slip outside is a three, okay? Slip inside. Good. Slip outside. Good. Good job. Remember, always bring your hands right back to your stance and always in your box of pendulum, nice and even, nice and balanced. All right. Slip inside. Good. Slip outside. Good job. Slip inside. Slip outside. Good job. So as you can see, I'm going back, sorry, inside and outside. All right, now, hopefully you've gotten a chance to get familiar with it. We're gonna, you know, mix it up. We're not always gonna be left and right. So I might say slip outside multiple times before I say slip inside, okay? So just try and keep up. Ready, hands up. Slip inside. All right, so you see, I'm going a little bit faster now, a little bit stronger. Slip outside. Good. Slip outside. Good job. Slip inside. Nice. Slip inside. Good work. So remember when you slip to your head off that center line. Good. Slip inside. Good. Slip outside. Good job. Slip outside. Nice. Slip inside. Good. Slip outside. Good work. Slip outside. Good. Slip inside. Good work. Good counters. Good counters. We got about one minute to go. Slip inside. Nice. Slip outside. Good. Slip inside. Good. Slip inside. Good. Slip outside. Good again. Slip outside. Nice. Slip inside. Good. Almost done. Almost done. Slip inside. Good. Slip outside. Good. Almost there. All right. Now let's go back and forth. The last 20 seconds. Okay. So we're just gonna slip and come back. Counter. Okay. Let's so slip inside. Two. Slip outside. Three. All right. As fast as we can. Good. Good. Oh. Yep. Slip inside, slip outside. And time, three minutes, done. Quickly get some water, get a short break. Woo. Ah, good work, good work. Okay, so take your time right now to uh, get your breath, get some water, okay? I will explain our second round coming up, okay? So again, it's gonna be three minute rounds with one minute break in between, all right? So now, we're gonna work on countering with our unders, okay? So remember our first round, we're countering with our slips, all right? Now we're gonna counter with our unders, okay? So when we go under to the inside, right? Our rear hand side, we're gonna throw the two. When we go under to our outside, right? So under to our lead leg, we're gonna throw our three, all right? So it's very similar, right? When we go to our lead side, we're gonna throw our three, and we'll go to our rear side, we throw our two, okay? So just follow along. We're we'll nice and easy for the first 30 seconds, and then we'll pick it up. Ready, three, two, one, time's in. Working on our counters with our unders. Okay, hands up, good. Under to the inside. Good. Under outside. Good job. So you see, I'm gonna go 
under to the inside, I blow that up for my two, and then when I go under to the outside, I blow that up for my three, all right? So right away, as soon as you come up from your under, you fire your shot. Ready? Under to the inside. Good. Under to the outside. Good. Remember, most importantly, when you're going under, always keep your hands up, protecting yourself at all times, okay? Ready? Under, outside. Good. Under, inside. Good job. Man, remember when you go under, bend with your knees first. All right, now let's pick it up and mix it up. All right, so it's not always going to be going left and then going right. Sometimes I might say going outside like multiple times before we go inside, okay? So hands up, listening to me. Ready? Under, inside. Good job. Remember, counter right away. Under, outside. Good job. Keep it going. Remember to breathe. Under, outside. Nice. Remember, keep your other hand up, protecting yourself at all times. Under, inside. Nice, good job. Under, outside. Good, under, inside. Good, under, inside again. Good, under, outside. Good work. Keep it up. Under, inside. Good. Under, outside. Under inside. Good. Under inside. Good. Under outside. Good. Under inside. We got about one minute to go, so let's try and just go really fast, alright? And remember when we counter, nice hard shots, okay? Under outside. Good. Under inside. Under outside. Good. Under inside. Under inside. Good. Under inside. Good job. Keep it up. Under outside. All right. For the last 30 seconds, we're going non-stop between the two. So go under to the inside and the counter and then under outside counter. So just go back and forth just like this. Remember to keep your hands up. Good job. That's it. Keep it going. Almost done. That's it. And time. Whew. Good work, good work. Three minutes done. Get some water. Catch your breath. Take a short one minute break. Okay, so we're gonna be moving on to a third and final round. All right, it's gonna be three minutes again. Okay. So for our third and final round, we're gonna be working obviously our counter punching, all right? But this round's gonna be different. So the first round we worked counters off our slips. Second round we worked counters off our unders. Now we're gonna work counters on our pullbacks. So remember, the defense two, five, and six, right, was our pullback, okay? So, in my stance from a side view, so you can see the pullback, all right? So in my stance, hands are up, you'll see it's all in the upper body movement, just like that, okay? So you see my head, right, it pulls back about a few inches, all right? So, how do we work that into our counter punching, okay? So, we're facing forward in our stance, when I say counter, right, we're gonna pull back and throw our two. So again, it's gonna look like this, okay? Pull back two, all right? Just like that, okay? Or, you can pull back and one, right? Pull back one, okay? So again, pull back one, all right? So either punch one or two, all right? Works, try and mix it up between the two, all right? So mix it up, sometimes throw your one, right? After you pull back, sometimes throw your two when you pull back, all right? Totally up to you, all right? So ready? Three, two, one, time's in. We'll go up nice and slow to start. Hands up in our stance, all right? Pull back. All right, so remember again, whichever punch you come back with one or two is totally up to you. The same motion for both, where we pull back, just like that, okay? And again, pull back. All right, so just go nice and slow to start. Again, pull back. Good. 
pull back. All right. So this is best used against, of course, the uppercuts, but it can also be used against straight punches, right? If your opponent commits to a nice hard jab, for example, right? You they jab, your head is here, but then you pull back a few inches, you're not getting hit by that, and then you throw your punch, okay? So again, let's pick up the speed now, okay? Pull back. Good. Ready, pull. Good. Pull. Nice. Pull. Good. Pull. Good work, keep it going. Always see your stance. Remember, just hinging at the hips, pulling back, and then counting with our shots. Pull. Good. And of course, you mix it up, whichever punch you want to come back with. All right, pull. Pull. Good, pull. Good work. Remember, go nice and fast. Pull. Good job, good job. Pull. Nice, remember to keep your elbows in nice and tight when you're out punching and you stance, all right? Hands up, defense. Pull. Good, pull. Good work, keep it up. I'll give a side view to mix it up. All right, pull. Good, pull. Pull. Nice, pull. Good, pull. Good work, keep it up. Pull. Good, we got about one minute to go now. Pull. Good. Almost there. Almost done. Remember to breathe. Pull. Good. Let's get our good rhythm going, good pendulum. Pull. Pull. Good. From the side view. Pull. Good. Pull. Nice. Almost there. We got 30 seconds to go, so let's keep on constantly pulling and switching between our two punches. So pull one, pull two, pull one, pull two, okay? Go nice and slow with this one, all right? Just like this, pull two, pull one, pull two, pull one, pull two. That's it. Good job. Good, keep it going, a pull counter. Oops, got messed up there, that's okay. And time. Whew. Three minutes, done. All right, good job. Get some water, get a short break. Whew, I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Hopefully you're having a good workout at home and sweating a lot. All right, if you're wondering why I'm not sweating, it's currently like zero degrees here in Toronto. And I have no insulation in this room, so you might not be seeing me sweat too much during the winter. Okay, so we worked on our counters, all right. Now we're gonna be working on some strength work. So, actually let me adjust my camera real quick. So it's pointing down towards the ground just a tad. Okay, there we go. And these cameras as well. Okay, so this will kind of act like our cool down, all right? We did do a nice hard core and push workout yesterday morning. All right, so we're still gonna let our body recover from that and we'll do some lower body strength work partnered with some stretching and that'll be it for today. Okay, so let's grab our weight if you have. Like again, like I said, it's totally optional. I have a 10 pound weight here. We're gonna do three sets of 10 squats followed by three sets of 10 lunges, okay? so. To demonstrate without the weight first, right, our squat. So, of course, a squat, feet about shoulder width apart. All right, you can play with it however you want. You can go a little bit wider than shoulder width or a little bit closer than shoulder width, but this is a general area, okay? So, feet about shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed outward, all right? And then when we squat down, feet always on the ground, all right? Our torso is straight, just like that. So, from a side view, all right, again, that's our squat, okay? And now, of course, for our lunge, a lunge is a one-legged exercise, all right? We're gonna lunge, one leg. All right, as you can see, it's a 90 degree angle, about that, all right? And my torso is straight, while I'm not leaning over one leg or the other, okay? 
So let's get ready. Three sets of 10 squats to start. We'll start with squats for 10. All right, if you have your weight, hold it up nice and close to your body. All right, let's get ready. 10 squats, three, two, one, and go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, good job. So we're gonna take about 30 seconds to 45 seconds break in between each set. Get some water, all right? If you need, and catch your breath. Whew. Alrighty. So you'll notice when I'm squatting, right, from a side view, a good thing to remember, a lot, a lot of people like to say, is pretend like you're sitting in an invisible chair, all right? And that chair is about your knee height, all right? So if you see, I'm sitting down, squatting down, I'm sitting in that chair, which is about knee height, all right? Depending on your own mobility, right? Some people can go all the way down, right? Some people uh, can't go that low, all right? Totally up to you, all right? Ideally, you do want to get to about your knee height, all right? So, let me just ignore this. All right, apologies for that call. All right, moving on to our second set of squats. Let's get it. All right, so remember, if you do have a weight, hold the optional, hold well, it close to your body, all right? Ready, second set of 10 squats, and go. And one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. Alrighty, already. Whew. Good job, good job. All right, so get some water. Take a short break. Thirty seconds to forty-five second break. All right, so, of course, you don't have to use a weight, you can just use your body weight, all right? Just like that. And if you are using a body weight, you can have your arms in front to help you balance, all right? So like this, all right? Just to help you balance and then stand it back up, okay? Just nice and easy. You gauge your own body's difficulty, all right? So again, for your own pace, all right? Everyone's fitness does it, is at a different level. All right, let's get it for our last set of 10 squats. Okay, so let's hold our weight in close to our body and we'll squat it down. Last 10 before we move on to our lunges. Yes, ready and go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Whew. All righty, all righty. So we're done our squats. We're gonna be moving on to our three sets of ten lunges. All right, so take a short water break. Now, if you're asking uh, why do we need to do these leg exercises, all right, leg exercises help you build your strength and your muscle and your legs, which translate to sport performance, all right? Of course, uh, we uh, like to do compound exercises, all right? So compound exercises means you're moving multiple limbs, all right, to, that works together in your whole kinetic chain compared to something like an isolation exercise all right so for example a bicep curl is an isolation exercise isolation means it only works one muscle at a time so in that case would be your bicep which has very poor trans uh translation to a sport right in no sport you're just going to be working one 
muscle at a time in that motion, okay? So for squats, squats are very good compound exercise, all right? So next up, we'll be doing three sets of 10 lunges, all right? Of course, that lunge is a dynamic compound exercise as well, which has very good translation to sport specific movements, all right? So remember, squats, keep nice and balanced, all right? Our torso up, ready, let's go for 10 and go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right, pretty weight down. Get some water if you need. Again, weights are totally optional. You don't need to use weights like I am. But if you want to challenge yourself, you know, feel free to use a light weight. Okay, okay. So short break, all right? So, again, working our lower body, because yesterday we did work our core and our chest, our pushing motion. So we're just giving those a rest, all right? So second set of 10 lunges coming up. Ready, go for 10 and go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Whew. Good job. Get some water, we got one final set of lunges coming right up. Whew. Alrighty, alrighty. So, again, compound exercise like a squats and lunges are very good, right? If anyone watches Mike Tyson, you'll see how Mike Tyson's peekaboo style, he's always going under, under, right? Mike Tyson was known to actually squat a lot, right? Using a barbell squat, stuff like that, all right? So, that is a very good example of how it is applicable to boxing. All right, let's get to it. Our third and final set of lunges, and then we'll do some light stretching to finish our workout. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay. Whew. All right. So at this point, you're going to take a quick water break and then bring it back. And then we'll do some light stretches. All right. So first one, we're going to do our standing quad stretch. All right. So of course our quadricep muscles are well, one of the biggest muscles, all right, they encompass, they're the big muscle group on the front of our thighs, all right? So we're gonna stretch that out, we're gonna be standing up. You have your hand to support, all right? And then your other hand grabs your ankle, and then you just bring your ankle towards your butt. You have your knee pointing straight down towards the ground, all right? Hold it for 15 and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job. All right, now we switch it over to our other leg. All right, so again, with our hand, grab our ankle or the back of our foot, bring it towards our butt, knees pointed down, hold it for 15, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nice. Whew. All right. Next one coming up, we're going to do our toe touch. All right, so we're going to just be standing straight up. Uh, try and keep your feet as straight as possible, all right? I know for some people, straight might mean there's a slight bend in your knee, like me, which is totally a-okay, all right? Some people, they just can't get it fully straight. If it is a slight bend, that's fine by me. So we're just going to be going down, hinging at the hips, trying to touch our toes just like this, all right? So again, don't force it, just let your body sag there a little bit. All right, we're gonna hold it for 15. Ready, and toe touch. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whew, all righty, good job, good job. All right, so we'll do our final stretch. Okay, we do our Cat and Camel, or Cat and Cow, depending on who you ask. All right, those are the two different names that I've heard. All right, so we're gonna be down on the ground in a tabletop position. All right, so just like this, nice and even. So you'll notice my knees right under my hips and my hands right under my shoulders. So for cat, it'll be belly button up, and then for cow, it'll be belly button down. We're gonna hold each one for five seconds a piece. All right, let's go cow, belly button down. Five, four, three, Two, one, cat, belly button up, five, four, three, two, one, good, cow again, five, four, three, two, one, cat, five, four, three, two, one, good, cow again, five, four, three, two, one, cat, and then five, four, three, two, one. One, good. Oh, alrighty, all right, let's do one last stretch, all right? We're just gonna do our squatting praying stretch, all right? So it's just the name, all right? So we're gonna be squatting down, all the way down, all right? And then we're gonna bring our hands together like we're doing a praying motion, all right? And then we're gonna use our knees, sorry, our elbows to push our knees outward. So you see my elbows on the inside of my knees as my hands come down together pushes my knee outward. So we're just gonna hold it at this down position, all right, for 15 and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And time, all right. Good job, everybody at home. Hopefully you all enjoyed that workout and have a great rest of your day.